It wasn't on my side to the kids. I need to get the children out of the house, wing it a bit this afternoon. Yay! There you go. Hello and welcome back to another Home Education Journey UK um, video. It is, what day are we on? Friday the 1st of October. Goodbye September and hello October. Can't believe how quick <laughs> this year is going. I know I keep saying on these videos but it is literally flying by. It is Alfie's going to be 14 in nine sleeps. What the, sli um, the birthday bears out. Yeah, and it's not long until it'll be Ted's birthday in November then, and then Millie in December. But yeah, we're currently having the um, builder has come in, started yesterday, did a load of work in the kitchen yesterday and has been back since about 8am this morning. Obviously, it means the kitchen and the dining room at the minute are completely out of bounds. So yesterday we had a chill day and we just... Um, Collapsed on the sofa. Yeah, we just chilled on the sofa. What did some colouring in, some sticker books, and um, watched some films, which we did a normal vlog on our mucky hands, if anyone wants to see that. Yesterday, covering it's what we got here. up to yesterday. Yes, homemade one. <laughs> and then... Oh, I'm doing numerals right now. <laughs> you are. And then this morning, um, we had another quiet one, really. I had to do a bit of admin this morning in the front room. And then I thought, I need to get the children out of the house, wing it a bit this afternoon try and get a little bit of structured work do it done so we've come to my mum's she's currently away on holiday she's back tomorrow morning and i thought it was an ideal opportunity she left us the key for us to come in and do a bit of structured work here for a couple of hours this afternoon also need to try and get alfie's birthday cake baked obviously can't do that in our kitchen so i've bought a box full of baking stuff that i didn't pack away to hopefully if i can work my mum's oven i can't get it turned on at the minute so i've messaged her and hopefully bake him a birthday cake as on Sunday, meeting up with my family at a local restaurant to go for a birthday meal um, before his birthday the following weekend. We're actually away for his birthday, so I've had to do it the weekend before. Can't have a party in our house, obviously, with everything going on. So fingers crossed I can get his cake baked whilst I'm here. The children have drama at four o'clock this afternoon. It's currently... Yes, darling. No, it Grandma's... five. That's fine. Yeah, Grandma's left you some uh, fruit shoots and things bless out. Yes, darling. Um, yeah, drama, Minnie's at four, Alf, Ted's at five, so we've got about three hours now until um, Lee is going to pick us up and take us to their drama sessions. How much was fun? I, like the Shakespearean tools, first of all, one of my favourite things, and doing the gory Cinderella. That's right. Yours is more structured, whereas Millie's is more expressing herself and doing more play and games. And she's at the cutoff now, so she's not sure whether to stay in the smaller group or move up with the boys. Anyway, the kids, I've just set them up about 20 minutes ago with some worksheets um, and um, some a different work, which I'll show you what they're doing in a minute. Oh, let me try open this. Use my good old fashioned teeth. <laughs> um, I only got one hand, so I just crack it over with my teeth. Um, apologies about that. Yeah, so they're doing some work. I'll show you what they're doing in a minute. Also, the plans are I've brought one of our Big Bang Science boxes with us to do one of the experiments from there. I've just had a look through and one of the ones that's easy enough, you don't need much other bits that I can do here, is um, making some sun cream. There is a really cool bee wax one, but make bee wax sheets, but I need a few bits from home and I didn't have a chance. I didn't think to look this morning with all this chaos going on. I didn't think to look at what, I need to bring with me or set focusing more on the cake just winging it really today and I thought it'd be good to show you guys a sort of a winging it, it sort of day whereas we haven't got the kitchen there's no structure really there's no routine it's all completely different we're just trying to get through these next six weeks there's going to be days where we're just chilling and snuggling and watching tv and that's fine perfectly okay and like I said children are learning all the time anyway but we do like to try and get a little bit of structure in child-led what they're interested in as and when we can throughout the week so anyway I've got the science thing the science experiment box we are um at the minute partnered up with ease mentioning one of our other videos which I'll log down below for all the details but I will also put our code our discount code so if anyone else wants to sign up to the subscription box our personalized code is down below on the and... personalized code <laughs> yeah on personalized <laughs> and we'll also link that like i said our other vlog with more of the details of everything over there also bought this funky pumpkin the other day from the range for 9.99 it's really quite big so you can pay it to my hand so we might have a go if we get a chance at painting a bit of that 
I had to quickly run and grab some pots from Sainsbury's because I packed up and they're all in storage, all of our craft things. So I had to go and quickly grab some of those. Bought these from the range yesterday. They were four pounds, I think. And then two packs of acrylic paint, which I'm gonna try and water down a little bit. Two packs of those, they were 2 99 each. So those are the plans that we're gonna do shortly. And I'll also just show you now what the children are just up to at the minute. Are you okay, Ted? So you're I hobbling? I am like showing a busy, busy bumblebee. you what I'm doing. Oh, okay, go on then. Just, um, like I'm doing six, like 607 times 14. And you sort of split them up and then put them in the columns. Oh, in the and hundreds, tens and units. Seven. 10 times seven is 70. So I'll put 70. Um, 600 times 10, well, um, what would that be? 6,000s? Because you just add an extra zero. That's it. 6,000s. And 0 times 10 is 0. And then 4 times 600. 1624. 2400. And then 400. And then 0 times 4 is 0. And 4 times 7 is 28. 28 and then all, all those six numbers there i just add them up and that's my you have to add it all up together and that's your answer does it tell you straight away if you've got it right or do you have to wait till the end oh depends what you're doing if you're doing quiz you have to wait till the end but if you do still in a normal one and what are you doing i'm doing i'm, I'm, I'm doing a lesson made for me oh so will it tell you straight after you've typed it in yeah yeah it, it's, it's one made for me so it's like gold from something you've done for your one but that's, there's nothing I that's cool. Not to, it's just giving me random. <laughs> you, you love your maths, don't you? Do you want to go and w add them up and then let me know when you're typing it in? And I'll show you show you typing it in. See if you get I, it right. I, I, I can type it in. I can add it up and I'll type it. Yeah, just come back and tell me. So little miss is in the dining area. My mum has got sort of an open living, so it's all kitchen, front room, and then a little dining area here. So Millie's here. Oh my goodness, that's so good, Millie. Yes. He, you enjoying doing that? So we printed some of these off Twinkle the other day uh one of our best friends isn't it twinkle lots of different animals and you get to color them all color them in all rainbow so we'll link this for you guys really really cute little activity that's now as cute and then the other day one second and i'll be in just hold fire and then the other day we printed off some of these little um autumn sort of type animals aren't they autumnal yeah. animals and mini colors these bits in and then we're going to get some leaves and stick those on the tails and we've got the lion one there as well. She's already coloured that one in. But we need to go on a leaf hunt, don't we? And get some glue, because Mummy's also packed that away. So we're going to colour those in and then get some leaves later, later. or tomorrow later. and then glue them on. Yes, darling. Can we go on a walk? If we get a chance, we've got to see, because it's already 25 past one. We've only got two hours until we need to start getting ready for drama. <laughs> so I'll also... I'm anxious for drama. Oh, no, darling. You haven't been for a couple of weeks, have you? Mm. That's OK, isn't it? <laughs> That'll be there as well, won't he? And if you want to just sit and watch, that's perfectly fine too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Um, I'll link these as well. A cute little autumn activity. We're going to put them on our playroom window, I think. And show all our neighbours what Millie's been up to. So that I'll link them on Twinkle as well. I'm going to go. I'll be into Alfie in a minute, but I'm just going to go to Tedzy. He's on my mum's bed. So have you worked it out, Chick? Yeah. So I, I, got, I added 6,000 to 2,400. 6,400. And then I got... Um, 172898 and then I had to add those to I don't know I, 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 I'm getting confused I thought the nine was in the four which is um yeah change it if you want you need to change it um, yeah it's 6498 okay so, six, uh, um, no. yeah. so what do you think the answer is 6498 you feeling confident oh wait hold on do you know where you've gone wrong? I'll try and I'll try seven thousand five hundred and eighty as well. Can you write it in again then? Can you? Yeah, infinite amount of time. Is that not the next one? Is that what you're trying to do at the minute? Yeah. So you can keep trying until yeah. you get it right. Oh, well, that's good. It's good. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on the quizzes though. No, yeah, but that's yeah, cool. Because how do we learn, Ted? By trying again. By making and making mistakes and trying again. So have another go at figuring it out, darling. Mm -hmm. so, and then come and show me, and we'll record you typing in again. Yeah. Just take your time with it, babe. There's no pressure. Oh, I think I know what it is. You know what you've done? Yeah, I, I don't... You know, these zeros here? Yeah. Um, I, I, I bet it's the thing because I'm times it by zero, which means zero. So that could, it could be 14 more. So that could mean that it's 6,000 
400 and oh, 6,502. Do you want a minute or do you think that's six, what it is? 6,000. Six, 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 oh, I can't see from there. 6,502. Oh, but give yourself a minute, babe. Make sure you've done all this bit right first. Th th that, that's 100% right. This doesn't need to be added. This is something completely different. Just call me when you think you've done it. I love you. Yeah. So there's definitely some good learning going on right there. I always say to the kids when they were at school, they were so upset if they got something wrong because at school they were quite often told that they weren't listening or whatever it was. And I'm always saying it's to the kids... Garden. Oh, my God, I'm <laughs> You are certainly not an idiot, mister. It was, um, I didn't add a 2,000. Oh, my God. Oh, I bet you're going to watch that. I'll come and have a look and see. Um, like I always say to the kids, making mistakes. That's how we learn. And it like was, Ted's gone through it again and again. And now he thinks he's got it right. It, was, it was because they would tell you off for being wrong. And that's not how we do it here, is it? That's not how home ed works in our house anyway. Learning all the time. Right, Tedsy, you think you've got it? 8,498. If it's not, I know what it is. Go on then. Hey, Let's have a go. Like 8,409. Yay! My oh, persistent look, look, salmon. I'm, I'm meant to go back. Cool, correct. No, oh, hold on. Look, if, if you didn't know how to do it, I'll watch the video. It, yes, Look, that's what we love about so Numerize. There's a video. You get one at the start of each question, don't you? Yeah, they're different every question. Yeah, I love it. It's my favourite bit. And it's different topics. Now I get to go over the column method. So we have 36 multiplied by 407. So I'm going to write this as two calculations. I'm going to do 6 times 407. And I'm also going to do 30 times 407. Well, this is your seven, so Matt. Yeah, it shows you all the different ones. Well done, Ted. Give me a high five. You got it right, mate. You smashed it. That's well done, chick. This is year seven, Matt. So yeah, that's fine. Right. If you were like Millie's age, you wouldn't be doing that. You'd be doing some mm, like That's you. right. It doesn't start till year seven, though. It's it says secondary school, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you can do the next one, good boy. So, uh, yeah, amazing. He got it right. Persistent like a salmon, as we say. And he's finally got it right. Um, numerize is what he's, he's hang on one second <laughs> numerize is what Ted's working through and that's what he's mainly doing now for maths oh. um, <laughs> and he, he loves maths anyway it's his favourite subject it's good but like what's matter coding oh yes. I, I mean you like coding as well I mean like the School subjects, as you might say, math is your favourite one, I isn't it? I used to love math at school, but I, I was the first one to finish it. And, like, the TT rock stuff thing was way too easy. I did it in a minute. And then what and did then you have to do? I had to read for, the, like, the rest of the And home. Ted, the thing that Ted hates to do the most is reading. So he'd finish all of his favourite subject, and then he would be told to just read, which was sort of a punishment for you, wasn't it? Because you don't like reading. Anyway, don't have to worry about that anymore, do we, babe? Um, Bit so their goals. You set goals. Oh, and also league table. Um, oh, I'm 320th in the world right now. Oh, I've been baby. 320th. Oh, You're creeping your way yeah. up. <laughs> 320th out of like. I don't know. You love it, don't you? I got 99 XP. How much do you love it this week? Well done, darling. I got 99 XP this week. Well done. Do you love it? Yeah. Do you prefer that to your scholastic box? I prefer it because it gives you yeah no paper and also. At the start of each question, if he doesn't understand the new method he's trying to learn, it explains it in video, which is amazing because as he's getting older, I'm struggling to explain and sometimes even understand myself what it is that is there in the book. And it's not always very easy, is it, to see it in the book and try and... If you're not amazing at maths and to try and then put it into words to explain it, I struggle with that anyway. Dad has so to help I, me. Dad does have to help you. And even sometimes Dad was a bit like, hmm, I need a minute to figure that out. <laughs> Like it's really hard. Like, um, it like I, I feel like it's just easier in a way. Yeah, I can do it a lot faster. And the do. questions are like a lot like more explained. Yeah, I think it, that's why. It, I on think its, it's own, you... and then it gives you a, like a tutorial yeah. as well. I think that's why I think it's because you've got the videos that explain it all. You don't have the videos when you're doing the quiz. No, the quiz that's... is like once every topic. So you've got like dividing by decimals. That's, that's at the end, that's isn't topic. it? That's topic. So you finish like you there's. Like, 30 questions, 40 questions, and then you have your your things that you need to improve on and that yeah. thing. And then you've got, and then that, and then you've got to do the... So you do the quiz at the end of each topic, yeah. but whilst you're doing the questions and working through and learning the new, new technique from that topic, you get the... Um, 
question, the method is on a video if you don't know what you're doing. But then when you do the quiz at the end, you don't get that because they obviously want to know how much you've learned. And then if you don't know it, do they then put that into questions again to help you? So if you weren't to do very, if you didn't do very well I on one of them. I haven't missed yet. Yeah, I would imagine that's what they do now. I would imagine maybe if you don't do very well on the quiz, they, they then recommend that you do it again, it do the topic again maybe. It gives you infinite time, so you can write them down and then you've got to write them down somewhere and then it keeps going through the questions. You can't answer them straight away and at the end it says, are you sure these are your answers? Right. So you can like double So you get time check. to check yourself first I don't before know what you do it. if you miss. No, I should imagine that you could go over and do the topic again, topic again I would think. I don't I, I, know, but I would assume so. But it's a good way of knowing anyway if you under, I, have understood what you've learned, isn't it? Maybe you can't finish that. You can do other topics, but you can't finish that year until you've, like, gone over the topic again and understand, understand it, it and go back to yeah, it. But the quizzes so. aren't hard. There's, like, four questions. No, that's because you've learnt it. The quizzes aren't hard because you've learnt the method before, isn't it? It's like Which is brilliant. Four questions in each quiz. Yeah. Where, that's right. So yeah, it's called Numerise, numerise.com. We'll link that down below. We have done a video on that as well previously, um, but it's something that Ted's using a lot, so it's going to crop up in a lot of our videos probably. But at the minute, again, a bit like the Science Box, they've reached out to us and asked to partner up. And that's actually the only reason we didn't even know about Numerise until they reached out and we had a trial with Ted and we were like, this is amazing. This works really well for Ted, especially because no, he doesn't like the feel of paper. I, no, none of my work is on paper. Exactly. I, I literally have to take my iPad well, like, if I wanted to, to do the work here, I would take my iPad. Yeah. And, but, like, some of it, some of it's on my computer at home, like, coding and, and like, stuff like that. But then I've got, like, reading on my iPad and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's good because you. Oh, yeah, because you use your iPad, don't you? Alongside, you normally does the numerize using my iPad at the minute, but he normally does that on his Mac at home, and then he's got Notability on his iPad, which he'll then make the notes and do the working out on. So and it works really well together. I also finished my diploma on space. You did. You smashed I was gonna it. Say, I, I, I do that on my iPad. I think you told these guys that already. Can, yes, baby. We can all use the Mac if we want, so basically it's shared. Yeah, it is shared. That's right. But it lives on my desk. It does yeah. live on your desk. But, uh, people can you, come onto my desk if I'm not using my. That's desk. right, baby. Uh, yeah. Share, share yeah, and share alike. Extra my cable and plug stuff out, lots of things. That's so they right. need to help by me. Yeah. And if I want to edit and stuff, I have to unplug the plugs and from my. For, so if something goes, instead of it, the signal going to my switch, it goes to my Mac. That's right. Share and share alike. So anyway, just quickly, Numerize. They reached out to us. It's amazing. They're part part partnering partnering up with us at the moment and they're offering all of our followers if you subscribe for a year um 15 percent off with our code which is home ed journey but we'll link that down below pop that up here please lee what our code is and we'll link the link down below but it's numerize.com um definitely worth going and have a look anyway you could just see how much ted's enjoying it right i'm going to go and find out what alfie's doing because he's super quiet and then hopefully we can either start doing the science activity or the pumpkin and see how far we get today <laughs> that's looking good baby thank you i love it darling just gonna go see what alf is doing all right chick okay. alfie is not here where are you alf <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing babes urban gardening diploma herb no urban gardening urban gardening diploma did you finish your um, your herb one well, no, there's some things I still need to do in it, but like... Oh, but you just have to go on this one. So well, no, got... actually, it's not that. I just, like, the things I need to do on it, I need to, like, cook and stuff, so I'm just going to wait for them, and when I wait for it, I'm just going to do this. Oh, that's a good idea. So you're doing your diploma, another one of your diploma through the Centre of Excellence website. Is that right? Yep. Yeah? Anything you want to say about it? Or are you in concentration mode? Been behind that door for half an hour. <laughs> Waiting for me. <laughs> I know. Teddy had lots to say today. Sorry, darling. <laughs> Did you think I was coming in to see what you were doing a long time yeah, ago? So I, ran, I ran out there and hid and then you uh, didn't come. Sorry, babe. I just saw him behind the door, so I walked the heck out there. So you like making notes as you go along, don't you, chick? Yeah. It's helpful. I'll leave you to it then, darling. How many pens? Love ya. Yeah. Right, Ted's has just called me in because you've just done a, a what? A quiz? Yeah? <laughs> and you're about to submit it, are you? Yeah. Is that all your answers? Yeah. Go on then, Teddy, click it. 100%. See? Yay! <laughs> well done, mate. You see? Take two. There you go. <laughs> there you go, sweetheart. Well done, chicken. Thanks. How do you feel that you did that? Good. Do you find it more nerve wracking when you have to do the quiz? A bit, yeah. Because if 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 you get, I, I guess, if you get one wrong, it goes to eighty percent. I guess, but like. If you get all of them wrong, uh, if you get like 
one right in at the restaurant, I think you have to do redo the, just the quiz. Do you? That's what I wondered, yeah. So, you know, that you've um, you've learned all about that topic. I don't know, chicken, super proud, well done. Awesome. You worked really hard on that, didn't you? I'll see what, um, I'll see what the thing is. Do you know what? Even if you didn't get one hundred percent, there, mate, you just go back and figure out where you did, where you went wrong, and, and learn that learn that technique, wouldn't you? So I've done decimals, adding, subtracting, and multiplying. It's not like that easy. So I've got like subtracting and um, decimals and stuff. Well done, chicken. Great job. Yeah, Love ya. We've got painting going on. We're doing rainbow pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got the cake in the oven, the first two layers. I know I've got to do it in two layers, um, two sets. I'm doing four layers for you, aren't I, Alfie? Yeah. I've only got two cake tins, so I'm doing it a bit at a time. Organised chaos, all my baking stuff's in there. Haven't done the science thing yet. I'm hoping we're going to get time, but you know how it is with home ed. Roll with it and see. I think Ted's is finished on Numerise now, and I think he's having a bit of a chill somewhere. Tedsy? Yeah, he's chilling. Ted? Do you want to do some of this painting of the cup, the pumpkin? Um, what do you think? You can have a look in a minute if you want. We can leave you a section. They're doing it rainbow colour. Not at the minute? Not at the minute. Okay, I'll come and see if you want to in a few minutes. Love ya. Yeah, busy. That cake smells amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's so good. Wow, that's looking really neat, guys. It doesn't look orange, though. Do you not think? No. Mm. It's definitely an orangey one. You can add a bit of red to it if you want, Al. It's cool, isn't it? It's really cool. So this is this month's Big Bang Science Box and the experiment we're going to do, hopefully, fingers crossed, all being well, is not that one because we haven't got vinegar and I haven't bought an old toothbrush. I don't think one would appreciate me using hers. We're going to do um, this one, make sunscreen. We've got all the stuff out ready. Yeah, that one looks cool. This one looks really, really good. Definitely can't wait to do that one. We just need a few of the bits from home. So yeah, there we go anyway. That's that. What are we making, Mills? Sun cream. Sun cream. What have you got? So, there's, this is shoe butter. Yeah. Beeswax. Yeah. Zinc oxide. Great, well done. This one. Olive oil. Olive oil. And the last one is... Cooking oil. Well done. What are you adding in? The earwax? Yeah. <laughs> the beeswax? What are you oh, having in? Oh, olive, oil. olive oil. You yeah. might need the scissors, darling. Yeah, pop it in. Is it Teddy? Pop yours in, Milzo. I'm tired, mate. You need to sleep. <laughs> Is it? It's all out. Is it all out? Ted. Yeah. Yeah? Go on then, Milzo. Ted. Oh, there's one stuck in there. Look, they've got chocolate. I don't know if that one's going to come out. You pop yours in, Milzo. Is that one sticky, Millie? Huh? Is that sticky? Can you get this yeah. one out, please? Yeah, is it stuck? You can... Mm. Nearly... Plop. Right, Alf, what are you putting in, chick? Olive oil. I want to put, the... put this coconut oil in. I'll yeah. Just pop it all in. Is it quite hard, me, that one? Yeah. And is it melting? Yep. A zinc. Zinc. Oxide. Mineral. Mineral. <laughs> so pop all that in. Now it's all melted. Oh, I imagine you say, oh. no, not yet. That's it. Is that Just, all gone in? Yeah. And then you can have one stir and then let Millie stir, okay? Oh, it's dissolving. Yeah, it should do. It. You've got to keep doing it till it all makes a white mixture, though it looks like. Sun cream. Sun cream. Yeah, have a turn in a minute, Mills. Hang on, darling. Oh, God. Wow, how it's changing. And then how do they harden it? Oh, does it harden? You have to let it cool down. You're softening it to put stuff in it, but then you're hardening it again. That's right. You're turning it from a solid to a... Good, to a solid. Well done. And a bit of gas. Bit of gas. Is it a Oh, do it gently, darling. Look how it's changed. <laughs> Looks like sun cream, doesn't it? Do you want to put it in the pot? Okay. Pop it all in our sun cream tub. How cool is that? Are we actually going to use it? Yeah. Coconut oil. This is. This has a natural sun protection factor 
SPF uh, between 4 and 10. It's also so nourishing for the skin and helps the skin to retain moisture. Olive oil spreads well over the skin with a natural SPF around 8. Beeswax gives the sun cream a more solid texture and acts as a water repellent. Shea butter has a more natural SPF between 6 and 10 and and is typically used for its for its moisturing and anti-inflammatory properties. Zinc, ox, zinc oxide creates a physical barrier on the skin by reflecting the sun's rays away. The zinc oxide is a non, non-nano, which means the particles are not far enough to enter the bloodstream or harm aquatic life. It's, it, safely, it safely sits on top of the skin and is not absorbed. Zinc, zinc oxide bo- boosts SPF and makes it more of a full spectrum sun cream. Oh, do you know that? Alfie. Did you know that, Milzo? Yeah, I'm Did you know that? No, but like, what water what's the first ingredient? Coconut oil. If you found all that, Alfie, what's the first ingredient? I don't know that, man. What's the first ingredient? Alf, can I have a look? What was the first ingredient? Oh, I the what were you saying about the coconut oil? If you found that, that's my parents. Got what it's called? Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hang on, tip me. Don't know what you're saying, Ted. Um, if you found some coconut, how do you get coconut oil from coconuts? Yeah. If you found a coconut, you could break it and then put it on yourself, and you'd be. It'd be a start, wouldn't it? It forms. It'd be, yeah. It forms one part of the sun cream that we've made, doesn't it? Better than nothing. And yeah. if you find some zinc, you should cook it. I guess like melt it. Melt yeah. it. It works best all together, doesn't it? They all they all contribute little factors, don't they? Exactly. To stop our skin from burning. Got the cakes are all done. Got them on the floor down here because Mum's got a super small kitchen. So I've had to put them down here to cool whilst we we're doing the science experiment. They're ready now, so they're gonna go in the tub in the fridge until I can decorate them back at home tomorrow. <laughs> this is looking cool, not finished, but we've made a good start. Rainbow pumpkin. He's going to need a couple of layers, I think, isn't he, that one? So it's quarter or 20 to four. We've done all of the to-dos. And now we're about to go. But before we go, Alfie is just going to set up, because we've been on holiday, and Granny and Malk left, um, looked after our house, didn't they, and the pets? We bought them a couple, yeah, we bought them a couple of um, thank you presents, which Alfie's going to set up now on here. So when they get back home tomorrow from their holiday, they'll be seeing them. Do you want to share that one, Alfie? Let me turn it around, actually. You did this for them, didn't you? You got this done for them. Yes. How cute is that? Granny spelt wrong. They're going to love it. And you know what? It's not spelt wrong, is it? Because that's how we say it. That's how we say it to her. But I know what you mean, but it's not. It's like our little cute version of Granny. Yeah. It's like yours. It's like got IE, like your names have. Yeah, I know, but Alfie's always part of the IE, isn't it? Teddy and Millie can also be spelt with IEs. I love those. And the good thing is about this one is that it is a Christmas present, but actually it's got nothing Christmassy on, so they can hang it up all year round if they want. Wait, is that personalised? They're going to love it. Yeah, you've not seen that, have you? Look. <laughs> you want to stick this in the How bin? cool is that? Yes, please, darling. How cool is but that? this Grandad. Yeah, you're calling Grandad Matt, yeah. though, don't you? Grandad pain in the bum. <laughs> oh, yes. Step Grandad, isn't he? You think he'll like that? Yeah. All done at my mum's. We're just waiting for Daddy, aren't we? And then we're going yeah. to drama. Yeah. I'm going to pop into town and grab a few bits um, whilst the kids and the are at drama. I meant to mention, actually, apologies for not having a homemade video up last week. We were on holiday for the week. We've got lots and lots of holiday vlogs, but they won't be, on, um, they won't be going on this channel. They'll obviously be going over on our Mucky Hands and Happy Hearts family vlog YouTube channel instead. So if you guys are interested in seeing it, the link for... That, as always, will be down below as well for our other channel, as this one is obviously mainly for uh, the home ed side of things. Right, I'm going to pack on now and get these guys to drama, and we'll catch you again at home, and I'll quickly show you when we get back um, what the state of the kitchen and the dining room is, in case any of you guys want to hang on and, and catch that bit as well. Millie, you got some... Yeah, something you want to I'm going to tell you how I got this in a second. Oh my goodness, Millie. Do you want to know how I got it? I do want to know how you got so, it. Um, I was crying, so I did a little bit of it, and then like, the class has doubled since last time. Oh, is it Like big? the last session, like the last latest session I've done, it's doubled. Oh my goodness. There's like three ki- 300 kids in Lots there. of children. Yeah. Um, so I was doing a bit of it, and every started lo- everybody started looking at these. Right. And then I ran back to Dad, and then I didn't do like half and a quarter of it and i did the other quarter of it because um i was standing there quite crying for like 
15 minutes in 10 minutes. That's okay though, so isn't it? If you're feeling sad. 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. The lady Tracy's got a new partner called Teresa, um, and she helped me. Um, so um, I went and did it, but we stayed at the back, like out the way a bit. Wait, it wasn't a big, there's a big, um, like it's um, it's a square, and it's and it's big, and then the, all the kids are at the front, and then we were kind of at the back, all the way at the back, so like there was a distance between everybody and us. Oh, that's good. So we did a little like picture kind of thing and if we, we did a little game um, and people had to guess the um, title um, and somebody um, a kid um, guessed it right um, so because I came out of my shell yeah Tracy said this has completely changed my mind and now I know who I'm gonna give it to and she gave it to me oh my goodness and did you so, feel proud yeah, and what I, did she say the reason was? Um, what was the reason? Well, from what you said, because you came out of your shell, didn't you? And you oh, yeah. Persevered. Oh, baby, that's brilliant. And did you feel really proud? Yeah, because um, Teresa came up and said to me, if you never do it, you'll never know. Who did? Who did? Teresa. Yeah. Um, and did so, you feel better for doing it? Yeah. Good. But I was, I was like saying to myself, like, if I don't do it, then I'm going to have a bad thought of it and I'm never going to do it again. Because if I don't do it now, then I'll have a bad time of thinking of it next Friday and then That's I'm not going to do it again. That's true. That's true. And you feel better for doing it? Yeah. Well, I'm going to be super proud of you, darling. Then it used to be Thursday that we did it. No, always Friday. I bet Daddy was really proud as well, weren't you, Daddy? Very proud, yeah. Well done, darling. I also did it next to Dad, so Dad didn't get to, got to see it all close. Oh, that's look, Daddy's lucky then. Yeah. Well done, baby. Love you. Let's go get some grapes. <laughs> it's 7pm. We've just got back from drama and the shops. Just walked the dog and then saw a neighbour bless. I was ended up chatting to her with Millie for a good half an hour or so. Millie did so well today, bless her at drama. She really is finding it hard because like she was explaining, the groups almost doubled. So I spoke to her drama teacher when I went back to pick up the boys. So obviously when Millie did her lesson, I was in town getting the grocery bits that we needed. So I went back to get the boys up and had a word with her and asked if she could try the bigger group because it's much, it's not as noisy and there's not as many children. And she said, that's fine. So next week, Millie, next week, Millie's going to try um, doing drama in the boys' lesson. So they'll all go at five till six. So we'll see how she goes. She'll obviously be one of the youngest, but she knows a couple of the children in there and obviously the boys. So it might be better for her. We'll give it a go anyway and see. Oh, look how dark it's outside. It's seven o'clock and it's really dark. It's got dark all of a sudden, I've only just got back from walking the dog and it was light when I was out there. Bit of chaos going on here. Bless our selfie to feed the dog whilst I was out. Bless him, he did feed them, but he just didn't put it all away. <laughs> I thought I'd quickly show you anyway the kitchen, give you guys an update on how it's been left. And how amazing is it that our um, builders, it was one of their birthdays today, and they told the children they'd leave them a little tiny bit of cake and they'd pretty much left them all of their cake how lovely is that didn't have to do that and the kids have come back and alfie came running out whilst i was getting the bits out of the car and said he's left us a chocolate cake he's left us a chocolate cake it's almost a whole chocolate cake so excited bless means a lot doesn't it to kids something like that so that was lovely and um, quickly show you now what they've been up to and how they've left things for the weekend so this is currently the kitchen all this wall towels breakfast bars gone I took the units off there. They haven't done anything with this. They're going to leave this for the weekend, which is going to be a lifesaver, as you can see. It's where I've put everything when I've come in from the shops. Um, and then I think they're going to still try to... Lit so we can keep the washing machine for a while longer. They're going to move it around. So lovely. Um, and they've knocked up here as well. I did show this on the vlog yesterday, but I know a lot of you don't watch the actual Mucky Hands vlog, so I'm going to show you guys again. Knocked all up here. And then they've put... Today, they've put this wooden beam round... Who do you think is going to fall over um, first? Probably me, as I'm whizzing around. Um, they were going to block it up today, but then they didn't want to. So obviously we wouldn't have a way then of getting in and out the kitchen. We'd have to go through that door and round. And it's meant to be raining all weekend, so that wouldn't be ideal. So I've left it like that. That is going to be all blocked in though, like we've said before. That's going to be blocked in. And then there's going to be a unit there and the big American fridge freezer there. This will all then obviously be opened. And I'll just quickly show you in the dining room. Woo! Put a light on dining room the same all of our beautiful wallpaper is gone which i'm gutted about 
I love that um, forest sort of wallpaper. And then they've done the same up there. So you can see the floorboards through there. And then there's a little tiny hole into the kitchen, just there. I'm really impressed. They've left it super, super clean and tidy for the weekend. I'll be back again next week. I was going to say, oh, so, um, a lovely man reached out to me from um, a business, a creative writing business. I can't remember the name now off the top of my head. I'm like tired. It's the end of the day, but I'll just pop it up here. The name of the company. And he's offered to give us three free tickets for one of their online creative writing sessions. So I've booked Alfie on for one next week and we'll obviously film some of that and then review it. And then what we're going to do is with the other two tickets, we're going to give one away on our YouTube channel here and the other one away on um, our Instagram to one of you guys who follow us so you can try it out as well. So we thought that's better than us having all three. We could have had all three kids do it or Alfie could have had the three sessions, but we thought it was a much better way of doing it. And then some of you guys get to try it as well first. And I think he's also said that all of our followers will get 50p off with a certain code, but that's gonna be next week anyway. So make sure you come back and watch next week's video if your children are interested in creative writing might get a chance to win one of the sessions. Right, I've got the pizza in the oven, so it smells like it's burning. So I'm gonna end it here. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, give you some motivation, especially on those days where that you're just winging it and things aren't as structured as what they usually are maybe. And obviously with our kitchen up in the air, we're gonna have a few more like this to be fair over the next coming weeks, but I'm still gonna try and record one day a week for the home ed, as well as our vlog channel couple of days a week hopefully right thank you for watching and we'll see you all again hopefully next week for another one of our homemade videos good night everyone